Hello everyone! Welcome again to my video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can create hundreds or even thousands of custom business cards or IDs in just a few clicks. So all you got to do is to follow my instruction, okay? You're going to need um, Microsoft Excel. This is actually helpful for you if you're working in a company and you are a graphic designer and you have the task to create hundreds of IDs for your colleague. Okay, so it's going to take a lot of time to do that because all you got to do is to, you know, put down their picture and then input their names, address, contact numbers, and so on and so forth. So it's going to take a lot of time to do that. Where actually there is um, another way for you to do it and just a few clicks then the ID will automatically be created using Photoshop and that is by means of using variables so we're gonna know about variables as we go on with this tutorial so let's begin I'll go ahead and open my uh, Photoshop and as you can see here on your screen that I have already created um, a sample ID so as you can see here in this search and then as you can see here the first and then the last name and then the type of position and then the name of the company just for example Adobe Photoshop 2020 and then the type of rank of that certain employee and then this one is the batch which is the top performer if this certain employee is, is a top performer then this batch will gonna show up and also here the ID number okay so all of that we're gonna you know change them using variables so and um, here as you can see here are the layers okay so each of the layers it has to be or it, it should have its own name so for this one I've um, changed it to position so all the layers must be named Otherwise, you will be having an error or problem when doing the variables, okay? All right, so now let's begin. The next step is go to image and then variables and then click define. If you click on define, this dialog box will open and this, this is where you're gonna make the settings, okay? So first thing is we're going to start with the first name, okay? With the first name, you can actually, you know, change the text by clicking this. Text replacement. Now, it says here text variable 1. Now, you might be thinking what I'm going to put in there. Of course, that, that is where you're going to use the Microsoft Excel. So let's just go ahead and close it first. Okay, I'm just going to minimize the Photoshop. Let's open this tutorial folder here. Now, here is the book one that I have created a while ago. So as you can see here, here are the list of the name of the employee. Samantha, Sophia, Kim, Bella, and Bernice. And then you can also see there their last name, Celine, Bernardo, Demicilio, Fox, and Grande. So you can also see here on the top the type of information they have. First name, last name, position, ID number, rank, badge, and portrait. So it doesn't really matter if you know um, it uh, you know the first name has no space or has space on it. It doesn't matter for as long as you can see here that there is um, specific names on the top of their information all right now let's just put that in there also in this folder you will see their pictures as well I also name their pictures according to their information so this is Bella Bernice Kim Samantha and Sophia so all of them are in one folder now let's go back to Photoshop now this time we are ready to go back to variables and define. Now let's go to first name. So a while ago we need to click this text replacement. Now in this box over here, this is actually where you need to copy this one, okay? Copy and then 
paste, paste it, okay? That's exactly what you only need to do because it will, you know, gonna tell Photoshop that everything that in here will be changed in here, okay? In this text called first. Okay, that's the prompt over there. Now, after you've done that, go to next one, the last name. Now click this text replacement. And now this one, copy this last name. This is case sensitive. You have to make sure that every word is exactly the same as what, um, what that is written or typed inside the Microsoft Excel or else you'd have, um, you're going to have a problem doing that. All right. So that is now, as you can see, after we've done some changes, you will now see that there is like an asterisk right next to the, you know, the names of the layers. That is an indication that we've already made some modification on this um, layer over here. Now let's go to position. Again, let's go, go text replacement. Let's go back to Excel. This is the position. It's also same as here. Paste that. Now let's go to ID, text replacement. This is the ID, ID, NO. Now let's go to rank, text replacement. So this is the rank. You can actually type it here. It's just very, you know, minimal. It's not that complicated. Okay, now um, let's not gonna touch the Adobe Photoshop. That's the name of the company, the top performer. The top performer, this is the top performer over here, which is the badge. So you can actually control if that certain employee is a performer or not so you know if that performer for example Bella is um, performer then the batch should appear then if Samantha is not a performer then this batch should not appear so how to do that just click this visibility Now this visibility in this name over here you're gonna name it here this is the batch and as you can see here it says true false false true true that indicates the visibility of the badge. If it's true, then Samantha is a top performer. If it's false, then Sophia is not a top performer. So we're gonna paste that in there. The next is the picture. The picture, this is the one, the circle, okay? It will be replaced with their images, okay? So now we're going to go ahead and this one, Pixel replacement. Okay, so the name, let's go back here to Microsoft Pixel, and this is the picture, the portrait. Okay, now let's go ahead and paste that in there. Now, um, as you can see here, you might be thinking where I got this name here, Samantha.jpg. These are the pictures that is in here in this folder make sure that it is the same as what is in here written okay otherwise you will can have a problem collecting this information so sophia.jpg so this is the sophia.jpg so that's how it is if you follow along with my instruction you're you're not going to have any problem all right so now it will give you an option either fit or fail so for me, in my case, I normally use fill. All right, and then after that, you can either click OK or click Next. Okay, so in my case, I'm just gonna go ahead and click Next. Now this time, this is where you're gonna import the file that is coming from the Microsoft Excel. So for now, I'm just going to click OK. Let's go back first to Microsoft Excel. So after you've done putting all the information of your employee, this is really important that you need to save as, okay? And this time, it's not going to be a Microsoft Excel file. We're going to change it to this one, text tab delimited, okay? Text tab delimited now after you've done that 
you can you know change the name so maybe we can change it because I've already made one here the book one so we're gonna name it book two then click save and then you just need to click OK and then click yes and now we can close it so don't save now we are ready let's go back to image variables and this time you can either select data set okay or define it's still fine if you click on define you just need to click here and click data sets okay it's still the same next is we're gonna import by clicking yes and then select the file now we're gonna locate the file this one and we're gonna choose the one that we've created uh, the book too okay by the way I'm gonna show you how the you know uh, text will look like this is how it looked like here it's just gonna be a plain text in the notepad okay I'm gonna close that now after you've done that you will have an option either to use first column for data set names so that's important normally it's unchecked but you have to make sure that this is checked okay and then click OK. Now, you will see here that the Photoshop is now able to detect or identify which are those information that needs to be replaced. And as you can see, look at that. It's now changes. I can also preview each one of the picture. For example, Sophia. Look at that. And as you can see here, the badge is not showing because he is not a top performer. Kim, look at that. Bella, look at that. Bernice, okay. So this is how the ID are gonna look like after you made those settings, okay, and variables. Now, if you're happy with that, let's go ahead and click OK. All right. Now, the next step that you're gonna need to do is to simply run run the automated ID generated okay so let's go ahead and go to export okay and then this one over here choose data sets as files all right now here this dialog box we're going to tell you where you're going to save those files so or IDs so let's go ahead and select a folder let's go to desktop and for me, I'm going to put them in the same folder. Let's go to tutorial. And we're going to create a new folder named ID. Hit enter. And now select this folder. Okay. Now here, you can, you can either save each one of the picture or each one of the ID if you like. But if you wanted to save all of them in instant, then you can select this all data sets you can also have an option to set the name so as default in photoshop a while ago it was set to document name and this one also set to data set name but to make sure that you were gonna not gonna have any problem to identify which are those IDs are for Samantha, which are these for Bernie. So you're gonna choose this one, set or data set name. Choose this one. And then right after the name, we're gonna set the number like one, two, three. And now you will also have a, an option to either save like a, a PSD. And if you're working with Mac OS or Apple, then you can check this, okay? But it, it is always check for Windows compatibility because you're using a Windows operating system anyway. Now, once you're done, then you can now click OK. Now it will gonna save all of them. Now it's done. Let's go ahead and uh, minimize the Photoshop and open the tutorial. You will now see here an ID, which is this. So here are their IDs, which is Bella underscore four, Bernice underscore five, Kim underscore three, Samantha underscore one, Sophia underscore two. All right. 
Now, the next step is to convert this five PSD or Photoshop file into JPEG. That's very easy. Let's go ahead and close this and we're not going to see the changes anymore. Next step is go to file and now go to script image processor. Now here we need to click this select folder. All right. So let's go back to um, desktop and then look for this folder tutorial and then click this and select this ID and click OK. Now here you are going to have an option to save it in the same location. Yes, that's fine. Otherwise, if you don't want them to save in, in the same location, you can either click this and select another folder. But in my case, I'm just going to save it in the same location. Now here, file type, save as JPEG. It's up to you. The quality is five. Me, I'm going to put it maybe eight. That is more um, great than five, you know, in my own opinion. So you can also convert profile to sRGB, it's up to you, or you can save it as PSD. And normally what we use is JPEG. So we're just gonna use JPEG for now, okay? All right, so now um, I think that's all settings that you need to do. And then you can now click on run. Now what Photoshop will do is it will gonna open all those PSD IDs and then save them as JPEG. Now it's done that's very fast now here if we go back to the folder that we've created ID there is also another subfolder that says JPEG this is actually the, the folder which contains all of their IDs and as you can see if we're gonna like okay maximize the preview you will see here here is Bella Fox and all the information she is the editor of the company rank three and you also see that the id number is changing bernice grande organizer and she's also a performer she is the videographer so kim and um yeah and as you can see here the name is also the same so you can actually you know do more than this like for example a hundred or even thousands of IDs in your company if you just know how to use variables it's very easy and comfortable but of course it's a little bit complicated but if you just know how exactly variables works then you will not gonna have any problem making tons of IDs or business card as you wish okay with a different um, information on it so I think um, that's it for today and I'm hoping that you've learned some tips on how to create multiple business card or ID using variables in Photoshop thank you for watching this is Chris and see you again on my next video tutorial don't forget to subscribe for more videos in the future goodbye